Hi, my name is Megan Cassingham, and I am in the Inorganic Chemistry Division at USC. I work in SGM, and it's, very, it's a very convenient building to work in. The Chemistry Department office is in SGM. Ever any questions I have for anybody in administration, it's really easy to access. We also have the glass shop. So Phil works in the glass shop, he's in charge, and he's able to fix any, most glassware um, if there are any chips, cracks, or breaks. And the third resource we have in SGM that's really handy is the VWR stockroom, which stocks a lot of general um, chemicals and different kinds of supplies that are really easy to just go pick up whenever something is running low. Hi, my name is Vicente Galvan, and I work in electrochemistry. My research lab is in the Loker Hydrocarbon Institute, which is a great facility in it, that it has a, um, a number of instruments for us to use. And then it also has the uh, Ola Library, which just is a nice place to go and study, to go look at old journals, and then other interesting chemistry textbooks that you can just read in there. I've learned a lot from the faculty in many different aspects, from classes to seminars to just one-on-one, -on -one more mentoring. When I first came to USC, I thought it would just be me doing my research, coming into lab, and then going on. I didn't expect to build these relationships with the faculty members here. I know many of them have helped me, especially in my first year when I didn't think that I was doing all that great, but you know, the faculty here was able to helped me and they were able to push me in to staying here and keep pursuing this. I am co-advised, so it's very useful to be able to have two different faculty advisors to talk to and get um, just different resources from. I'm also a part of WIC, or Women in Chemistry at USC, and in that respect, I've gotten to work with a different faculty advisor for the program, um, an organization at USC, as opposed to just my research. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a fifth year PhD student studying the surface chemistry of semiconducting nanoparticles. I work in the OCW LJS laboratories with a lot of different other research groups and we have the optical spectroscopy lab and the NMR facilities including a 400, a 500, and a 600 uh, megahertz NMR. And the person in charge of that, his name is Alan and he's super, super helpful. He'll help you plan projects, plan experiments, he'll help you fix the NMR if it's not working correctly. For the semiconducting nanoparticles, they're typically coated with organic ligands, and so using NMR spectroscopy is actually a very useful tool to study these organic ligands, and you can monitor their exchange, you can monitor how many ligands are on the surfaces of nanocrystals, and so the NMR spectroscopy lab is the only way that I would have been able to study any of my projects, and so I find these instruments very, very useful for my research. Um, hi, my name is Jeremy. Um, I do research in uh, small molecule uh, catalysis. Um, in my research, I, I use a lot of uh, XPS because it helps me characterize my materials. And obviously, scan, uh, electron micro microscopy is essential for like imaging your materials on the on the micro microscopic level. So we have the uh, Center for uh, Nano Imaging here at USC. It's, at, it's located in the CEM building. Um, we have a few different instruments, such as the uh, XPS, X-ray uh, photoelectron spectrometer, um, some electron microscopes, scanning electron mic microscopes, SEMs, and a transition electron microscope, TEM. And then we have a few other instruments such as uh, XRF, X-ray fluorescence spectrometer, um, ATR, and a few others as well. Hi, I'm Stu and I'm a fourth year in the chemical biology track and being part of that program means that I need access to a lot of instruments that aren't part of your typical chemistry repertoire, which fortunately I have access to through the university, um, such as at the nanobiophysics core, which of course has some of your more standard things like a CV spectrometer, a UV vis, uh, some plate readers, but also some instruments that let me do more exotic things like say um, SPR and ITC, DLS. Um, I also spent two weeks there learning how to use the atomic force microscope, which turned out to be extremely important to one of my research projects. Um, additionally, at USC, we also have a mass spec facility at SGM, which has a very nice MALDI mass spec that allows me to do a lot of high throughput mass spec readings of my proteins, and also a QTOF, which allows me to get a more high resolution picture of my proteins.
My name is Mahta and my research involves the structure determination of membrane proteins using X-ray crystallography. My lab is located at Michelson Center for Convergent Biosciences, uh, which is this new building right across the street from the chemistry department. As the name implies, the building houses many different labs from various fields, including chemistry, biology, and engineering. I do my research in a lab that's shared between multiple groups and across the hall from several other labs whose collaboration, expertise, and facilities have helped me a lot in my research. I think all of them provided very important pieces of the puzzle that I've been trying to put together in my PhD. Hi, I'm Justin and I also work here at MCV uh, where I study small molecule drug discovery. Getting a PhD is only part of the battle. Building lasting connections with throughout the industry you're interested in um, is definitely very important. I'm a member of Biotech Connection Los Angeles, uh, where we partner with different um, schools here in LA County, uh, where we hold events, bringing together academics and industry, um, different networking and panel discussions that provide valuable insight into the biotech field in particular. Speaking of industry partnerships, MCB is also home to Agilent Core Center for Excellence in Biomolecular Characterization, where we have top-notch facilities for characterizing molecules. We have robots for automated liquid handling and lots of chromatography and spectroscopic instruments. We also have an impressive lineup of high-resolution mass spectroscopy instruments. Hi. My name is Nicholas Bastian. My research focuses on understanding the structure property relationship in electrode materials for rechargeable batteries. Over the past few years at USC, I've had the opportunity to participate in a number of collaborative research efforts. Over the course of my research, I would routinely drive to other universities to take advantage of facilities and meet with collaborators to further propel my research efforts. Additionally, over the past year, I have participated in a collaborative project with the NASA Jet Propulsion Labs located in Pasadena, California. This research effort ultimately led to me receiving a recommendation for a postdoc that I will now be pursuing in my future. Hi, my name is Renata. I'm a fifth year PhD candidate and I want to be a teaching faculty in the future. One of the things that the program offers uh, the students is the opportunity to be teaching assistants. They'll tell you about uh, some you know, pedagogical methods, um, how to manage a classroom, uh, what type of learning uh, activities you can teach. You know, all of those things that you don't usually think about uh, when you're a student, but that you're gonna have to do when you're a teacher. And the labs are, amazing like they're really big there are many hoods um, the infrastructure is really awesome um, there are a lot of equipments that the students can be familiar with USC has just so many opportunities for you to uh, grow as a teacher uh, hey my name is Brian um, and I am a sixth year I was super lucky to get the Berg Fellowship uh, at USC, which basically allows me to uh, teach an entire third of an undergrad uh, class. Uh, so I get to stand in front of like a huge lecture hall full of students, like a hundred student classroom, um, which is completely nerve wracking, but that's exactly why you need to be doing it as a grad student. Even after my Berg, I had these connections with the teaching professors at USC, and they actually allowed me to come in and teach parts of their class. The teachers here are just really committed to teaching excellence, and they're really excited to uh, teach the next generation of teachers. So they're giving me tons of amazing opportunities that they don't even have to, and I'm really grateful for that. One of the best schools in the world, and I get the opportunity to teach these students who are gonna go on to do amazing things. Like, that's, that's really cool, that's really cool. Um, what else should I say? 